Hello everyone and thanks for joining. So in this video we are going to discuss about few Databricks interview questions which were generally asked in an interview and from a basic perspective also you should know about the Databricks like uh, what is a cluster, what is a compute, how actually we create a cluster, what kind of the configuration you have done, what was the cluster size, how many workers you have used, what kind of the job scheduling you were using in your work. So this kind of the thing generally people ask okay so to understand that first let us try to understand how actually we create a cluster in the databricks okay based on that everything will be clear okay so once you will open the databricks right you in the left side you will see this kind of the option so what actually we will do we will click on the compute okay okay so let us start with the what is cluster let us try to understand okay so cluster is nothing but a, it is a group of virtual machine okay it is a group of virtual machine so in a spark we generally see right which you will be having a one uh, master node you will be having a multiple worker nodes okay and for that we will be having a specific uh, uh, memory you will be having a specific cores size and all okay so all the kind of the configuration and all the kind of this virtual machine right so group of machine actually we call it as a cluster only okay i hope you got it okay now what is compute Compute is nothing but a processing, but processing unit. Okay, compute is nothing but a processing unit. So generally, we try to create a cluster for the processing for the computation only, right? So that actually means by the compute. I hope you got it. Okay. Now, once you will click on this compute, right, in a databricks, you will see this uh, this particular option will come. Okay. Now, in the compute only, you will see the create cluster and all okay so you will generally see this kind of the cluster all purpose cluster and the job cluster okay all purpose cluster generally we use whenever you want to do any kind of the development means before the productionize if you want to do certain development if you want to do certain testing so in that kind of a case we generally use all purpose cluster job cluster we generally use for the scheduling okay suppose you already have a job and uh, already have a code that actually you want to schedule for the specific time period then you will create a job cluster okay i hope you we are clear cluster is nothing but a group of virtual machine okay generally in a computation you will see two types of the option all purpose cluster and the job cluster so all purpose cluster we generally use for the development testing this kind of the purpose job cluster we generally use for whenever you have to schedule a, a job uh, you have already have a the code ready and you want to schedule it for the specific time period specific time period you want to run for that you we can create a job cluster okay now when you will click on the create cluster okay either you are creating a, a job cluster or all purpose cluster once you will click on this so after that you will see this particular option okay the create cluster option okay so in create cluster generally you will give the name any name you can give whatever the cluster name you want to give okay the cluster name is clear now after that the cluster modes comes into the picture okay so what is this cluster mode okay so what cluster mode means generally you will see three type of the cluster mode okay one is the single node cluster uh, the standard cluster or high concurrency cluster so single node cluster means it will be having a zero worker node zero worker node and only one driver node driver node okay so generally you or if you have only less data and you want to process in the single machine then you will go for that but generally we don't use that okay from the standard perspective okay second one is the standard so standard this is recommended for the single use user cluster so suppose single user uh, cluster for that actually we generally they prefer for the standard cluster the third one is important high concurrency so generally if you will see in organization right multiple people are working on the multiple project and they are running a multiple queries so they don't want the downtime right so in that kind of the case generally we, see, we use a high concurrency this is optimized to run a concurrent sql okay so generally we go for the high concurrency one only okay now coming to the databricks runtime version okay so databricks runtime version here we select a whatever the version type of the spark and the scala we select okay you can see once you click on the database runtime version you will see standard ml and the genomics generally we select from the data analytics or the data engineering perspective the standard one okay and whatever the latest scala in the spark version will be there or the second latest so that only we will try to select is if it is a 3.3 now so we will go for that okay so that is a database runtime version okay now coming to that 
after that you will see this kind of the option here we select what what will be the worker size what will be the memory what will be the core and all okay okay so what is the worker type okay so there are different kind of the once you click on this worker type once you click on this worker type you will be suggested this all the kind like you will be having a general purpose uh, a uh, cluster or you want to use a general purpose hdd memory optimized hdd based on the data size based on the data processing unit like how much data you want to process okay based on that actually you will create a cluster right like you should have a this many memory you need a this many cores to process your data and this many people are using right so for, with that only we try to select okay uh one suggestion uh, which i can give uh, is like uh, if you'll see like m5 dx large m5 dx large right here we have a 4 cpu 16 gb memory okay so if anyone is asking to you what was the worker size and all that actually you can say like the you have used m5 dx large and a 4 gb 4 cpu 16 gb memory okay and you can see like the worker size was uh, minimum worker was 1 to 12 a worker you have selected and m5 dx large you have selected m5 dx large 4 cpu was there and 16 gb memory was there okay for each worker 16 gb memory was allocated and the four core was there four core means in the four partition uh, the job will be the executed okay so you can see m5 x large okay and uh, you can see the configuration also the four core four core and the 16 gb memory okay minimum worker you have selected from the 1 to 12 like that actually you can give like uh, generally people ask what was the worker type and the size okay uh, and also if you want to have a more data right so the suggestion will be like you can use a two minimum worker to the 24 maximum workers and the memory also will be the 64 gb memory and the core will also be increased by the eight core okay so this kind of the standard configuration you we can you can do you can give the answer okay now after that once you click on the worker types so there will be certain option uh, through which actually you can select you are the worker type okay after that how many the minimum worker and the maximum worker you want to have that actually you have to select okay so yeah so that actually we have to give okay and there is one option right here there is one option like what is the enable auto scaling okay so auto scaling means when actually it will be suppose you have given the 2 to 8 so it will be scaled from the 2 to 8 automatically okay okay so suppose 2 to 3 are automatically occupied so it will switch into the other workers okay so auto scaling will happen automatically and the second option is the terminate of time is after a certain period of time it will be terminated okay now I hope you got it so what kind of the question generally you will see so what is the cluster so cluster we understand it, it is a group of machine general, generally we use uh, to configure with the certain uh, memory size certain core side and that actually we use for the computation what is a compute compute is nothing but a, it is a processing unit uh, generally we try to process our data right that is nothing but a compute how we create a cluster and uh, mm -hmm. that actually we understand right what is the how many worker node what is the configuration that also we discuss the next question comes is like the job scheduling from the job scheduling perspective so generally in a real time right you will be having a data so you will be having a notebook what you will do you will create a notebook you will write your code you will write your code and that notebook actually you will try to schedule on a daily basis or either uh, there are a few requirement of which you will schedule based on the weekly and the monthly basis so this is how actually we try to schedule the particular time period on that uh, this particular node will be uh, notebook will be running and it will load the data into the particular table okay and uh, from that particular table you will create a dump or either you will create one reporting table table okay and based on that all the kind of the uh, reporting uh, like the tableau or the or any kind of the power bi table will be refreshed or this dump you can send it to your uh, through a sftp location you will try to send it to the specific uh, stakeholders 